Welcome back for another one of our monthly market update meetings. We are super excited to have you here. This video is going to be all about the real estate numbers for the state of Arizona, specifically the Phoenix Metro market. Stay tuned to the end. We have so much to talk about this month. Hey everyone, I'm Katie Evans, owner and lead agent of the Living 48 Real Estate Team. Welcome back to another one of our monthly market update videos. Again, we are talking specifically about the Phoenix Metro Arizona real estate market. We're going to talk about the numbers. We're going to talk about what just happened in February, what we think is going to be happening here in March and April. But stay tuned to the end. We have so much to talk today about. So let's launch right in to our factoids. Let me pull that screen up for you so you can see it. All right. Hopefully you can see all those numbers there for you. Um, our supply. Supply went from 4.1 months worth of supply all the way down to 2.7 months. You guys, this is one of the predominant reasons that the Arizona real estate market is so different from the narrative that you're hearing about what's happening in real estate across the nation. Um, this is just your friendly PSA, your reminder that real estate is hyper so small local okay so the numbers even that we're talking about are not going to speak to the neighborhood specific or the city specific these are again more broad numbers than than even are going to apply to something if you're looking to do something in your neighborhood so let's just keep that in mind these are the arizona numbers and not your neighborhood or your city's numbers uh inventory inventory again dropped from 70 days down to 68 days our active days on market went down. That went down from 96 to 93 days on market. Our closed days on market, so these are the ones that are ready to go, priced well. That went up just a couple of days. Yeah, you know, we had some holidays in there too. So 79 to 81 days. Um, and then our active price per square foot went up uh, to $348.10 a square foot. But our sold price per square foot also went up. $270.54 a square foot. So again, you can see there's negotiating power in there. Come out of the gate, price right if you want to get it sold quickly. Um, our average sell, sold price is $523,789. That number went up. And our median sold price, again, went up to $413,000. That's the 30-day. Now, if we go over and we look at the one year average sold that actually went down just a titch to 558,175. Um, and our one year median sold actually stayed very, very level at uh, 450,000. Okay, our appreciation, our 12 month appreciation was at 12.4 percent, and our 30 day appreciation went down just a little bit to 4.2 percent. All right, so again, reminder these numbers are not hyper local numbers they are arizona numbers let's talk about available listings what happened as we left february and went into march so coming into march our available listings are at 15,408 um that is actually down a half a percent uh month over month and actually up 308% year over year and up 323% since 2021. Now, why are those numbers important? Again, you guys, we want to remind you that we are in a low inventory, low supply situation here in Arizona. We do not have enough houses for the demand that is out there. Because of that, it is keeping our housing prices and our housing values stable, if not rising still. Now, thank goodness that appreciation rate is slowing. Because as I have been saying for the past several years, this is at a fevered pitch and we now need to get this back under control. And we are seeing signs that it is coming back under control. We are entering into a more normalized market, which is going to feel really, really weird to you guys. All right. So let's we'll talk about that in a hot minute. Um, our active single family residents, so again, those were that was everything. Uh, our active single, single family residents went down to 11,626 properties. That was down from 12,554 in January. So we're, you know, again, in a very, very low inventory situation. 
Uh, February actually posted 7,192 new houses, but that was down 9% month over month. Um, but it's right about in line with the last 10 plus years of seasonality. So we're not really worried. We're starting to see some of our seasonality come back. That is all right. Uh, price cuts. 7,987 price cuts happened in the month of February with a median price price re reduction of $10,000. So if you are not pricing your house right coming out the gate, you are going to be chasing the market down. And as a buyer, you have more negotiating room. Sellers, get it into your head. You will probably not be selling at your uh, list price. So you're going to need to be reasonable. You need to come out good and strong. And then you're going to be needing to be willing to negotiate. Um, in the month of February, did anything sell? Did we have anything happen? Yes. We had 9,572 units go under contract, and that was actually up 26% month over month, um, but it was down 24% year over year. It's an inventory number, you guys. Uh, so stuff is selling, but it's selling slower. It just is. That's how things are going. We saw our distressed property because I know all of you out there like to know what's going on with the distressed distress properties. We saw that number jump up to a whole whopping 41 properties in the state of Arizona. All right. Pre-foreclosures are now at, again, a whole whopping 25. You guys, crazy, crazy, crazy. That is like the most that we've seen in three years. And when I say that, let me put this into perspective for you. When you hear the news articles that say... Arizona real estate is tanking. Uh, Pre-foreclosures and distressed properties are up 200%. Guess what? They're right. So 41 distressed properties and 25 pre-foreclosures in our market actually does equal 200% increase. It's crazy. I know it's crazy, but it's true. All right. Closed sales in February. We had 5,596 closing. That's up 29% month over month. And that is the largest January to February increase since two, 2015. Um, but guess what? It's still down 26% year over year. Again, speaking to our low inventory um, and down 27% from 2021. Now, here's something else I want to make sure that the sellers know. Concessions are back. Buyers, you need to know this as well. 47% of all of the listings that closed in the month of February had seller paid concessions and the median amount of the seller paid concessions was $9,378. Now back in 2022, so a year ago, there were only 16% of our closings that had any kind of concessions and the median concessions for those properties was $3,000. So as you're budgeting, as you're working your numbers, as you're deciding, you know, what what can we afford to do? How do we want to list this? What's our game plan? Keep that in mind that you are probably not going to be selling for full ask price and you will probably be giving some seller concessions. Um, repairs are back. All those kinds of things are back. All right. Supply across the board, you guys, every single price point. If we take all of Phoenix Metro or if we even just bring it down to the East Valley cities across the board, our supply is down. What does that mean? It means as people continue to try and move into Arizona, as they continue to try and purchase properties, we do not have enough houses to meet the demand. And so because of that, our narrative is different than the rest of the countries. Our narrative is going to show stabilizing house prices. You're even going to see them going up again a little bit, as you can see in the numbers here on the screen. Um, but again, we want that rate of appreciation to come back into a more healthy, balanced market. Now, if you guys have any questions about what's happening in your neighborhood specifically or in your city specifically, please, please, please reach out to me. We can pull the numbers for just your area and send those over to you. Also, as a, um, a resource to, to you, if you are not already getting these, would you please let me know what your, your if I don't already have your address and I don't already have your email address, send those over to me and I will put you on what is called a neighborhood snap. And that's going to send you an email every single month that shows you exactly what is for sale in your neighborhood, what has sold recently in your neighborhood, and help you keep kind of an idea on just what's happening in your neighborhood. 
Now, if you have multiple properties across the nation, that's fine too. I can send you snaps for those neighborhoods and those cities as well. So just, I need an address and a best email to send them to you. And I'd be happy to do that. So be sure to send me a direct message, text me, email me, whatever's easiest, however you're consuming this content. Just give me that information over and let me know that you'd like that neighborhood snap. And I'd be happy to start sending that to you in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Again, reminder, real estate is hyper local. Make sure that you are not buying into the narrative of what you're hearing going on around you. Ask a seasoned professional and they will help you understand what the reality of your real estate market is. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on our next monthly market update.